No, I don't even know anything about a case from the IRS. Sir? Okay, the is not aware about case lost, then I can explain you what this is all about and what's going on, okay? All right, go right ahead. All right, but before that, I want to notify you that this line has been recorded and monitored by the IRS and the local authorities. So do not interrupt me and listen to me very carefully because we are really running very short of time, okay? Uh-huh. All right, so now we have done an audit on your tax file between the year of 2008 Tax was among three thousand is has paid. I've discovered very strong evidence that uh, this was a natural result of an innocent negligence, and whether we have reason to believe that it was in willful act done with an intent to defraud the IRS. Y'all say it was a willful act. Sorry. A willful act. No, I didn't intend to defraud anybody. So let me complete first of all after then I will give you time to talk about that, okay? Okay. Now, I, now because of that reason, sir, there is a legal issue against you with the four serious allegations on your name. And the allegations which will be pressed against you are violence of federal tax regulations, violence of internal revenue code, theft by deception, and mis- Will, uh, willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. Uh huh. Now at this point, of, now at this point of time, we have decided to forcefully recollect this amount from you by involving the Internal Revenue Code 6331H against you. This this means IRS will mark a lien on your assets, including your house, car, and all your known bank account will be frozen by us. Well, we maybe I could. Do you have an office around here, baby? I Come up and speak with you. So we have already sent the paperwork on your mailing address, but there is no one available on your mailing address. We have sent the paperwork on September 2013, January 2014, and May 2014. But at all times, there is no one available to receive this paperwork. Because this is in certified letter, you need to sign to receive this paperwork. Mm -hmm. Right. And as actually, so, so the, now there is two options for you. See, once the case goes to your local courthouse, then you have to face a very big trouble. You have to go behind the bar more than eight to nine years, and you have to pay more than $60,000 to the courthouse. And if you have to resolve this case outside the courthouse, then I can help you to resolve this case outside the courthouse by paying a compromising amount to the IRS. Now, it's totally depend on you, sir, what you have to do. And it's my guarantee that if once the case goes to your local courthouse, then you have to face very big trouble. As I told you, you have to go behind the bar for max minimum eight to nine years, and you have to pay more than sixty thousand dollars to the courthouse. Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know. D let me ask you something. Uh, Sorry. D does it bother your conscience trying to defraud people like this? Right, right. But I, I had a question. You didn't answer it. And do, do, yeah. do you think God is going to get you for trying to defraud people like you do? Do you believe in God? Yeah, why not? You don't believe in God. You no. you don't think we'll fa face eternal damnation for trying to defraud people sure. like you do? Call to you to no, wait a minute. You didn't answer my question, sir. Uh, we're, we're, uh, sir, sir, we're going to face our maker one day when we die, and we're going to have to explain why we do things like you do. Does that not bother you? Can you sleep good? Do you sleep very well at night? Because you called my mother also, you little son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? How do you sleep? What if I did this to your mother? Do you have a mother, sir? Do you have a mother? Do you have a mother? You do have a mother. Well, how would you feel if I stole from her? How would you feel if I stole from your mother? 
How would you feel if I stole from your mother? How would you feel, answer my question, sir. How would you feel if I stole from your mother? You can't answer that question? No, no. You want to see that? What can I do? You want to see that? Within 25 minutes... I want you to tell me how you would feel if I stole from your mama. If I just took her money and didn't give her anything in return and lied to her to get it. How would you feel? No, I don't want to hear anything. Just wait for No, you need... You, I know you don't want to hear it. I know you don't want to hear it.